Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to talk about the top 25 wardrobe essentials that I think need to be staples in your closet and will work for multiple seasons. Now, I thought about this and I came up with this video concept because I feel like I find myself shopping a lot and I ask myself why why when if you have certain staple pieces i think you have a wardrobe that can be very minimalistic while at the same time being very stylish and very timeless so i'm going to tell you about 25 pieces that if you have these you can create multiple outfits multiple looks look on trend every season and every year now i will preface this video with some things that i'll show throughout this video because i'm going to try on most everything i'm not going to just stand beside a little clothing rack and hold up each piece i'm going to show it on my body as well tell you a little bit about why you need said item and show you how it looks but i know i'm going to get comments where'd you get that where'd you get that where'd you get that the thing again about this is that these pieces are timeless meaning they extend time meaning sometimes i got these five years ago from zara and zara the way they turn over inventory might not still have it same thing for target so i'll try to link most things that i got down below but some things like even this little skirt i have on right now i think i got this five years ago again very timeless works well and the great thing about it is it still fits that's something people run into sometimes things don't fit over season so you gotta re-up understandable but today's items if you get them i think they could be staples long-lasting staples in your collection we're going to talk about not only shirts pants skirts we're going to talk about shoes and accessories as well so get your little mug together and get you a little checklist together get you a shopping list we gonna dive into it so the first thing i'm going to talk about is something i love i'm addicted to this and it's blazers 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 now these are recent buys so you can probably still get them because they still have the tags on them but i have so many blazers it makes no sense it truly makes no sense but if you get one or two blazers they can be timeless they can pair well with anything from your tanks to your bodysuits to your dresses paired with jeans anything they can dress up not only a work outfit but for play for casual for a little upscale casual you're like i don't know we're going to this rooftop bar type situation but it's more of a casual but it's a rooftop bar aesthetic so it gives that nightlife throw a blazer on i'm good for throwing a good blazer on walking out the door i have one white black every color i think i own a blazer but again if you want to keep a minimalistic closet one staple blazer you can't go wrong with it and while i'm on the blazer topic while i'm talking about blazers power suits have to have a power suit and when i mean a power suit i mean a top a blazer top and a black bottom and traditionally you think about a power suit you're thinking black you're thinking of black, a navy kind of color. I'm somebody, my power suit, my definition of I'm about to go into this office and I'm about to wreak some havoc. I'm about to set people straight. I'm here to mean business. It's not even just black. I like a good, I have a, a greenish color. I love that one. I have one that I love that's a printed power suit. These can be your power suit. They don't just have to be a fun, like, oh, I'm just doing something a little whimsical. No, those can mean business. I get so many compliments where I used to two years ago when I used to step foot inside of a physical office now I find myself wearing more casual things with my work at home situation but nonetheless getting you a cool comfortable power suit just one you don't have to get multiple get you one and that one you wear when you mean business people know you got that suit on they know you ain't here to play so a good power suit has to be a staple in your wardrobe as well as a bodysuit Ooh, a bodysuit now this is one of the things that again i own multiples of just like the blazers i own multiples of but if you get three and three basic colors get a white get a black and get a i'd say nude camel colored one you're good to go a black i have a black one on right now you can get them in so many different ways a racer back kind of a high neck like this a dip a scoop neck a v-neck there have so many a uh, zara has a lot of good ones i've gotten a lot of mine from zara i know naked wardrobe has some i know kim kardashian got the new skims one that are a little expensive they're about you know 50 dollars if you want affordable though my one i have on from amazon amazon got quite a few bodysuits 
don't sleep on your Amazon bodysuits. Bodysuits, I think, will not go out of style. They, again, a lot of mine I've bought over the years. Over the years. And the thing about them is, why bodysuit? It feels like I'm wearing a onesie. I feel like a child. I used to have a boyfriend who used to call them, here you go with your baby outfit on. Here you go with your baby onesie on. But the thing about them is, the fact that, you know, you wear a normal t shirt, you have to worry about them coming undone. You have to worry, have that worry a little bit. Sometimes you don't, you know, the shirt long enough, it can tuck well. I have no worries. I can wear my jeans, not have to worry about my shirt raising up. I do a little woot woot. I ain't got to worry about it, nothing. All of that comes with your bodysuit. So that, I think, is why bodysuits reign supreme. And, and sometimes they're just flattering. Overall, they, they flatter what they need to flatter. Next, you have to have a pair of your staple jeans. Staple jeans. Again, mine typically has, I, I'm a whole girl. I still love me a good pair of holy jeans. But I also think you need some without holes because there's casual Fridays at work a lot of the times. And when we had casual Fridays, I had to wear, uh, you know, non-hole jeans. And that makes sense. So you want something that's a little bit more upscale, like a little bit of a darker wash jean, I think is good. Having a lighter wash jean is also really good for us with no butts. Lighter wash jeans make us no butt having girls. It gives an illusion. I think some brands that make Make some very great jeans. Zara makes a very good mom jean. I love their mom jean series. I have them in several colors. I think Topshop, the Jamie jeans for us non but having girls look into the Jamie jeans from Topshop. I think that might be what these are. Yeah, these are my Topshop jeans. And they are from the Jamie, I think, name of them. Yes, it says Jamie on here. Jamie comes in different colors, different yeah. styles. Again, don't you sleep on no good pair of jeans. Also, a crisp, crisp white tee. Nothing, I mean nothing says, again, elegance, luxury, upscaleness, like a crisp white tee with no makeup stains. It doesn't have to be a button down, just any white tee paired with some jeans, you good to go. My white uh, button now happens to be a bodysuit. Again, don't have to worry about that untucked situation that's going on under your power suit. You put this up under your power suit, you ain't have to worry about it coming up because it's, again, a bodysuit. You good to go. Now, again, while we have this button down up, while I have this white one, any button down, putting a button down, it doesn't have to be, again, white is my quintessential I love, but I think having another button down in your collection for any kind of work situation, or not even work, again, play, Having a button down, I don't know, is something about it. Now, us bigger chested girls, we have to be cognizant of this. Sometimes, of course, I have to size up. Sometimes it can look a little gappy. Invest in quality, and that's what I'll say with all the pieces that I'm talking about today. Quality over quantity. Jeans. Somebody's like, well, I'll just get my one pair of Forever 21 jeans, and they're fine. $9.99, whatever the price may be. I used to be that way. One pair of Forever 21 $9.99 jeans? What could go wrong? Quality over quantity is the name of the game I will spend whatever the price may be for a certain item which to some people may seem expensive to me it's the quality I what if I got older I understood quality because you would have a forever 21 next to a White House black market that might have a shirt like this and the forever 21 would be $8.99 and the White House black market would be $60 but it wasn't until I got older and I looked at the quality and I washed things over and over again and I saw which held up better that I became aware that quality jeans, quality tops, quality everything, is it's above. I'll pay that premium. I'll pay that price. So next we're going to go into the little black dress. Now I think you need a little black dress. That is the thing that has always been said but I think you need it in different arenas. I think you need a work one. I think you need a work little black dress. Nothing says, again, I mean business, like a power suit and a little black dress. I love that for interviewing. But you also, I think, need a fun one. I think you need a fun little black dress. A little black dress for your social life. A socially cute little black dress. It can be sexy or it can be cute, but it has to be your night out little black dress. That, you get you one of them you good to go. Now while we're on dress, get a skirt as well. I think having a staple skirt, doesn't have to be a little black skirt. I have a black skirt in my collection because there's times when a black skirt is needed, but I also think there's fun and a structured black skirt. And when I say structured black skirt, I'm talking more your Banana Republic, J. Crew, those structured work skirts, but also a fun skirt. I'm a queen of loving 
a fun skirt and when i mean a fun skirt these flowy skirts these pleated flirty skirts i have them in so many colors i have them in like a springy color i have this in a i don't know what i would call this this is a this would make good for a winter pair with a red top maybe a red bodysuit you have a like christmas thing i think this is good for winter i wear these throughout the season so because they work so so well a pleated skirt in your collection again you don't have to have multiples of these things but having one is great to have in your collection because it flatters so many people as well as if we're on the skirt phase we've already talked about having a professional business skirt you know doesn't have to be black we've talked about a flowy skirt but now we're talking about a clenched we talking about a snatched skirt you need a snatched skirt in your collection and i have one in black i have one in uh kind of a nudie top color and then i have one in green i have them in multiple colors get you a snatch skirt and what i mean when i say snatch these give me an illusion of a hourglass that is not there they snatch at the waist if you get it tight enough like some of mine can be loosey-goosey but a lot of times i size a little bit smaller so it snatches snatches that waist in and it makes my booty look like it exists in this planet so getting yourself one of these one of these skirts i don't think you could go wrong next a signature wrap dress a wrap dress again is very much so more flattering for me and my body type than a sheath dress those sheath dresses that are like quintessential they always make my chest look bigger than it needs to be the sheath dresses do me wrong on so many occasions but having a wrap dress that has that v cut to it baby come come on who doesn't love it who doesn't love a signature wrap dress and while we're talking about signature wrap dresses we got to talk about signature purses your purse collection signaturize it Again, I'm somebody who I don't buy purses as often as I used to. When I used to buy cheap Charlotte Ruth wet seal for every two and one, we're talking college me, get a cheap purse, wonder why it goes under. I love a good, for me, it's camel and it's black. Camel and black? what they go with everything um my typical brands are i love me and michael kors and i love me okay spade those are, those are my two brands coaches made a resurgence now with that pillow bag too and i like these these are quality to me and again as you can notice my bags are stuffed so if you see this bag isn't in my rotation it's stuffed you look at my kate spade bag it's stuffed you look inside of my other michael kors bag stuffed i keep my bag stuffed to keep their shape i want my bag to last i've had this bag for i think i focused this on my channel probably like four years ago still looks good it still doesn't look tally does it still beat up keeping its shape very well same thing goes i don't carry this one as much i typically if i'm carrying a tote and that's black i typically go for bigger and better so i go with my michael kors one but a quintessential black or camo bag get you a colorful one too if you want to jazzy it up you don't have to be as boring as me i do kind of have a white black and kind of creamy one that i pull out when i'm trying to you know do a little something something but again having a quintessential signature bag and i i will say invest a little bit of money in it don't go to nothing against city trends but if you want a staple piece do go to the outlets i always stress go to the kate spade if michael kors even go to tj maxx and marshall's because they have some good michael kors cheap things but the quality on them when i tell you the quality on these bags i purchased all these bags at least three plus years ago they hold up well they hold up so well next we got your signature heel you have got to have a signature heel I know if even if you don't walk in heels you've got to have one just have it in the collection I love Calvin Klein I love Calvin Klein I think he makes some heels that I can actually walk in I've tried a lot Jessica Simpson I can't do it uh, Steve Madden can't even do it well, if it's a thing a heel quality made again i've had this heel this is my quintessential interview heel now winnie got a little bit of hold of it when she was a little puppy so it's gone through a little bit of a thing so keep them away from your dog so when you get a new dog don't let them get on a hold of them but overall love it black and also if you can find like a color like 
this as well the camel colored i think having at least if i could get this calvin klein heel it probably will repurchase it and another black and then get me a camel you don't need any other same thing goes with your staple flats I think you need staple flats for me black again maybe a nudie color as well as a camel and same thing goes with sandals sandals signature color stick to again I have me a camel one I have me the same flip-flops in a black these are Tory Burch so they are a little bit more expensive I think uh, overall I probably paid for the label more than I did the flip-flop itself because it is a standard flip-flop so this is I guess my luxury purchase in terms of that but Tory Burch makes good purses too if you want a good quality purse again a little bit more expensive than that price point of the Michael Kors and Kate Spade I think my next pur purse purchase will be a Tory Burch um, on my tier of eventually one day getting to my YSL that's that's gonna be my first luxury bag purchase is gonna be probably YSL I know everybody gets the Louis Vuitton never full these days the never full is everybody's big luxury purchase because they are you know on the cheaper side of luxury but I feel like they're so common now that now I don't feel like I wanted it but now I feel like everybody has one even if it's the knockoff one everybody got one but again I'm luxurizing my closet and although these pieces are gonna cost some money they're gonna be pieces that can stay they are staple if you're seeing a pattern you're gonna see one ankle boots booties gotta have them gotta have them and again staple colors same thing goes for boots we're getting into fall as I'm recording this we're not quite there yet still a little toasty here in the Charlotte region but boots 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 I always have them in black and you guessed it what's the other color I got it in a camel color that it goes with everything I'm somebody my mom always instilled in me get pieces that last and colors that last I'm not a funky colors type of girl I love the people on Instagram who I follow who do the colors thing but my closet cannot be full of purples reds blues and all that when when I just feel like I love me a good black camel and nude now back to clothing gotta have a signature pair of slacks black slacks but you guess it you don't only have to have black slacks i'm a slacks colors queen at work when i'm not wearing dresses and i'm not wearing skirts which is like 80 percent of the time when i would go into the office that was pants it was dress pants but business casual means dress pants for me and i love different colors target old navy you get floral pant a blue pant a pink pant just get you a pair of pants and that that's my I guess edit I have black pants on here but I'm gonna just lump any kind of pant get you a black pant for again just needing like something basic that can pair well with anything but if you are again wanting to have a staple piece add you a colorful pant something outside of the box and see the compliments roll in you become known as the girl who be dressing at work because I was known as the girl who be dressing now next we have sweaters knit sweaters i love a good knit sweater as a cover-up as a cardigan but also a sweater as we get into the fall season you cannot go wrong with a sweater i love my boohoo cover pullovers i get so many comments and when i like something i do tend to buy it in multiple colors so i do have that in multiple colors however getting you just a simple pullover during the fall months cozying up with a pair of leggings how can you go wrong now the next thing I have a whole bucket full of this but belts are my thing I love a belt I love a new belt I love me a new belt I love me a black belt as well but belts is where I can have a little bit of fun with color so I have my purples I have my blues I have my reds I love a good belt I think you can invest in belts and get multiples of it. Belts are not an item where I say just have one or two. You can have multiples. It can change the look of even a, a simple outfit. If I just grab this belt and I have one right now, let's tilt the camera down just a wee bit so you can see. You just add this. Go over my, my microphone there so I can't cover that up. But you add a belt, the outfit has changed. The outfit has changed and then you just take this one off say you want a different look so grabbing purple same thing put it on change the outfit now we have purple it changed the outfit so getting you belts belts I say have a couple in your closet have a couple because they change everything I could just throw on a different belt put it on a black belt with this you have one thing put a camel belt on you have another thing belts change attire love me a good belt the next thing 
hats. I have a hat wall behind me. My hat of choice is, of course, a good wide brim fedora. I love if you follow Living Fearless here on YouTube or Instagram. She has a hat company. I didn't get this hat from her, but she started a hat company because she slays a good hat. I feel like my hair needs to be down for this to give all it needs to give. You throw on a good hat, honey. I love my hats. I got most of them from Amazon, the ones on the wall. This one I invested a little bit of money in, but honestly, although I spent a little bit of coinage on that hat, I find myself going for my Amazon hats a lot more. Get you a good Amazon hat, and again, if berets may be your thing, knit hats, whatever the case may be, signature hat, I own at least one. Again, I have mine in white. This is brown beside it. And I have black and then I have a new I have the basic colors the basic colors you're seeing a theme here you're seeing a theme in basic colors next athleisure athleisure is part of the normal life these days I watched a whole documentary it was a quick documentary it was a quick online I think vice might have done it documentary on the rise of athleisure they were talking about how a hundred years ago you wouldn't even think about it you wouldn't because one these things didn't exist leggings these types of active wear didn't even exist but two the pedestal dresses but now a hundred years and that later we will wear leggings we will wear athletic wear athleisure have you some comfortable clothes not everything has to be all structured put you some athleisure in it whether it be those leggings whether it be the tank tops whether it be just a jumpsuit i love my amazon jumpsuits i own it in at least 10 different colors that's my leisure wear it's solely got the pockets comfort especially in the time of COVID 19 comfort reign supreme in everything we've been at home more than ever a lot of these outfits are more going out staples when you're at home at leisure it has to make this list because you you need it it's even if you don't work at home or you work in the office now monday through friday on the weekends you don't want to have to do all this you want to have something comfortable to wear your errands in to go out and get you an athletic set jewelry now jewelry I have to talk about my Apple Watch. You got, like, I feel like 50% of the country wears an Apple Watch. They have an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, whatever the case may be. You have some kind of watch. We've gone away from the phase. I used to love watches. I used to love, like, just regular watches. The ones that told the time and did nothing else. But then when you get an Apple Watch, it's hard to go back to normalcy. Because who doesn't want their text messages? Who doesn't want, for me, a thing to take my photos with? Who doesn't want something to track their workout, see their heart rate? All the things that Apple Watch can do, but the thing about it is the band. The band isn't sexy. The, the band that it comes with is not sexy, it's not cute. I say, please, if you have an Apple Watch and you're watching this, they make so many, this is just one, I own at least six different kinds. It doesn't have to be the white band. Get another band for your Apple Watch please do we all have one a lot of us have an apple watch we love it we love it so much but it's not cute it, just, it you can wear a bomb fly outfit put on that regular apple watch what is this it doesn't go with the rest of your jewelry it doesn't go with the rest of everything you have going on get if you wear an apple watch which again like i said a lot of us do just just jazzy it up make it part of the outfit make it flow with the outfit and last but not least number 25 the thing you need I would say is a trench 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 get you a good trench you already know what colors I'm gonna say I'm gonna say get you a good camel color trench or get you a good black trench but get you a trench coat nothing says elegance nothing says I'm here to stunt nothing says I'm not here to play games with y'all like a good trench coat so overall those have been my 25 staple products that I feel like you need to have in your collection but this is a very much so I know long video very thorough video but there are still possibly things I missed let me know down below in the comment section what your staple pieces are what do you think you need to have in a closet what should I have not included what should I have included I am all ears down below make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't we don't want to see no thumbs down we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure you're subscribed to me so you don't miss any of the content I make Make sure you're following me on Instagram at LeahLavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.